Hi everyone, today I wanted to make a tutorial for you all uh, describing the process of taking a bunch of orthographic images and turning them into a rough model for your grey boxed uh, still life um, images for Project 2A. Um, so what I've done is I've just using my phone, I've taken a few really um, uh, rough images um, for the perspective one it would be good to take a really nice image um, but for the sake of this demonstration that that's unnecessary um, I would recommend that you guys do that however so what I want to do is I want to show you how we can take these and actually use them as reference images inside of Maya um, the first thing to do is to uh, normalize them um, and what I mean by normalizing them is kind of make all of these reference images uh, the same size, um, the same size. So make all of the, the the different perspectives kind of match up to each other. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, basically choose choose a a, a base um, uh, perspective. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use the front. Um, I'd recommend you use the smallest where your object is the smallest. So where you've taken the camera the furthest away. Um, use, use that perspective as your base perspective, it just makes it easier. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, um, first of all I'm going to start off by bringing in the side. Uh, so the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to take this marquee tool in Photoshop, and I'm going to select this whole cup, um, and it's important I hold down the shift button um, the shift button makes it a square selection. Um, so to make our life easier in Maya, uh, we're going to use square reference images. And I'm going to just try and line this up so that the cup's roughly in the middle. So notice I've just got roughly the same space at the top and the bottom and at the um, right and the left. Um, so I'll do that. And then I'm going to copy this, Command C or Control C, I guess, if you're on a PC. And I'm going to paste this into this one here. Right, so now I've pasted this in, it's on a separate layer. If I turn down the opacity, I'll be able to see through this um, through this cup to the front position. Um, uh, so um, it's important to kind of get, um, get it to a point where I can kind of see both the front and the side uh, perspectives. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to move this so that uh, the, the bases match up Notice actually um, one point about this side is the side orthographic image hasn't been taken particularly well. It's really important to try your hardest to avoid these perspective things. So like in a true orthographic um, image, this curve here would be a straight line, right? Because we'd be looking at it directly side on. Um, but actually that's really quite tricky to do with a camera because if you have this perfectly straight then the top bulges out so you've, you know you've kind of got to um, make a bit of a, a sacrifice at, at some point so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to resize uh, resize this um, by transforming it um, making it so that the widest parts kind of match or parts that I, I, I recognize um, match up. So I'm going to pull this out so that this bottom part matches up. Because this is such an unusual cup, it's it's just so um, distorted, um, it's going to be quite hard to get uh, matching perfectly, but but that's, uh, I mean, that's okay. So I think this is, this is probably um, uh, roughly matching up now. Again, um, noticing that down the bottom here, I'm just kind of ignoring this curve uh, because I ideally I should be um, looking at it straight on. Um, so it's not the perfect setup. Um, so again, just kind of uh, shifting this around until I've kind of um, roughly got the, the, the same height um, and the same, the same width um, at the at the at the widest part again because it's a really distorted cup it's this this really weird kind of crazy uh, cup and um, I it, it's not going to be perfect so now I've matched that up I can I can you know 
turn that back up and we can see that I'm kind of looking at it from from the two sides all right so now let's uh, try with the top so again I'm going to take a square selection so holding down shift I'm going to try and get it roughly centered uh, like so to copy that and paste it back in um, uh, and I'm gonna for now I'm gonna turn the opacity down just to have a look so actually um, yeah so so this is in the in the right orientation so basically um, you can see that uh, up here it's squashed in this direction um, and so this top top position is, is is squashed in the same same direction for example if I were to have imported this in and it would have come in like this for example I was going to have to reorientate it uh, to be the the correct orientation um, and if we look at the the background layer actually it'd be helpful to to make sure that that's um, uh, correct as well okay so you can see that yeah we're looking at it at the front here's the um, the, the, the sort of weird orange smear thing um, uh, and now we'll deal with with the top orientation cool so we want again to take this down so that it's it's uh, transparent enough to see the um, mm, I guess what we're doing um, and the top orientation uh, we want to again kind of uh, roughly match up so that essentially the goal with this one is to get it so that the, the, the width um, of the cup so its extremities uh, match up with the extremities of, of this this one here so we can kind of see that the, the top of the lip comes oh, the top of the lip comes uh, to about here and actually, if I turn on a ruler, uh, view is view, view rulers. If I bring out a ruler, we'll, we'll see how far I have to bring this. So if I look here um, at the image below it, so what I'm currently looking at is um, this one. If I move this ruler so that it's about here, um, that should give me an indication of um, uh, uh, oh, that should give me an indication of roughly where you know my my top one should be, um, and I'm going to bring down the top. Um, the top one it doesn't really matter where uh, it's positioned up and down. So what I'm doing is I'm just kind of matching it up with the one below it. So you'll notice it just kind of matches up those purple lines. Um, because it's a completely different perspective, it doesn't matter so much where it is um, up and down. Cool, so I'll stretch that out so it's about right. Now what I'm going to do is uh, turn that back to 100. I can turn that off and turn that off and we can see all of our, our things roughly match up and are the same size. So what I can do now is I'm going to crop this entire Photoshop file down to the smallest image and I'm going to um, uh, just make it a, a, a square um, so I'm going to crop that to the, the top image which which is a square um, and uh, that has made me three layers which are the same size and are centered um, uh, and a centered and now we can save these uh, layer by layer so I'm going to save the front I'm going to save that as you know me front um, and that's going to um, give me my front perspective which I can take into my you know me side um, I will just save this likewise um, and that will give me my side perspective view which Again, I can bring into Maya uh, shortly, and same with the top. So we'll save out the uh, you know me top, and save that out as a JPEG, um, and we can again bring that into Maya too. 
um, and now when we bring them into Maya they're all going to uh, be the same um, they're all going to be the same uh, size uh, uh, yeah the same size so that when we import them we won't have to basically do all of this in, in, in Maya so it makes it a lot easier for us in the long run Cool, so next video I'll show bringing these into Maya and using them to create our 3D models.